I'm here at Metzhev, the Arab Museum of Modern Art, and if you're familiar with contemporary art, you might be familiar with the phrase Gulf Futurism. But I bet you didn't know that that phrase was coined by a Qatari artist, and her name is Sofia Almaria. And today, we're going to go and see her first large-scale exhibition in the Gulf. It consists of a variety of media, including installations, video, and commissioned sound tapes, all of which foreground the importance of storytelling as a strategy of survival, imagination, and reclaiming stories. It is a multimedia exhibition called Invisible Labor's Daydream Therapy. In it, Almaria invites various artists, curators, scholars, and communities into a dialogue around histories, dreaming, futures, and the Gulf's relation to the surrounding regions. So I'm here with Sofia Almaria, uh, and uh, I'm not gonna, she's right here. Well, let's talk. <laughs> okay, I have one question. Daydreaming is a form of getting involved with people as well. Are you trying to tell people something about it's okay to follow when you're not connected in the world? Mm. I mean, I'm not encouraging anybody to walk blindly into uh, their futures. In fact, it's the opposite. Okay. It's very much about how daydreaming is a way of planning. So in my experience growing up, and I think a lot of young people and hopefully others will remember perhaps doing lists of things that you want for yourself in the world, you know, making plans that might never happen, but that at least you've written down. Yeah. And you so many different disciplines on display as well, whether it's art, sound, visual, film. Also one other thing, people's films. Uh, yeah. The other, one thing that really came to me was the sound installation. These were actual conversations that you had with people in Qatar. They're the product and, of that. And so what is it like for you to be able to display it now here? Well, I'm excited that you bring that up right now because <laughs> right behind you is my uncle. Wow. Saleh. He, and this is the origin of the entire show because okay. years ago in 2006, uh, or maybe it was 2007, I interviewed him, I don't, I don't even remember why, about his dreams. And so he says, I want a 2008 Lexus. Uh, I don't want to be in debt. I want my daughters to go to school. So it was in finding this footage which touched me um, that the whole sort of idea of uh, doing these daydream interviews and conversations with people came about. That's beautifully said. I don't think if, if, I, if I ask you another question, I think I'll ruin it. <laughs> But Almaria's exhibition is not the only thing to see here at Metzhaf. We also have Air Majaz, which is artists in residence. And it features 36 artists that were in residence at the Doha Fire Station. And it's all about metaphor, Majaz. I'm here with Amal Ali, associate curator of Majaz. Amal, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So this is a product of all the artists in residence in Fire Station from 2015 until, until 2021. 2021. Yeah. So you were part of that journey for all of the artists to, and what in, kind of inspired the curation? Which elements were? Yeah. Was it easy to pick the pieces or? So what we did was we had a very bottoms up approach. Okay. Uh, we invited all the artists based in Qatar to join us for this Air Alumni exhibition. Okay. Artists in Residence Alumni. Yeah. And each artist was more than welcome to pitch any idea they had. Okay. Any medium, any color, any, any type of fine art, any type of new media, anything. And from that, we created the concept. And we noticed that a lot of the artists were inspired by some component of storytelling. So working with so many different artists and so many different disciplines is not easy, but it's very rewarding in that you get to see the real grassroots, vibrant art scene in Qatar. What is it that means, yes, success? What is the one thing that can happen for you and you go, yes, we did it and everyone is happy? 
I think for me, the most important thing would be to realize that there is a grassroots art scene in Qatar and that it is very vibrant and that it has a past, present and future. And I think if people look forward, leave this exhibition looking forward to the future of seeing more art coming out of Qatar, that would make me very happy. This exhibition is not only important for Qatar, but it is a bit of a landmark in the history of what contemporary art is like in the Gulf. And what Sofia Almaria has done here is definitely something for the ages. But don't let me be the one to tell you about it. Come here and see for yourself. Metab is the perfect place for contemporary and modern art. And with these three new exhibitions on display, it is definitely time to start. And if you are a fan of contemporary art, definitely check it out.